Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be unveiling the 2020 Great Northern Darwin Cup Carnival with the opening day coming this Saturday, and of course it's Tab Darwin Guineas Day, the 4th of July. As we know, the carnival this year will be held over four days, but the action will be no less exciting, and we kick off this week with some excellent contests and some tricky ones at that. With good entries this week in the 0-58 1300, that race was divided to give us nine races on the day. Some 75 horses have accepted for Saturday, with the first getting underway at the early afternoon time of 12.38pm. In the opener, the Mix 104.9 handicap, a 0-66 event over 1600 metres, my numbers are 3, 4 and 6. Going here with number three, Isle of Light from the uh, stable of Angela Forster. How pleased was she with the run of lotion last week in the Rowant Cup? He's right on target for the uh, big one on the first Monday in August. But Isle of Light represents her in the first. Kim Gladwin, he had a day out last week with uh, uh, multiple winners. I think he rode four last week. Kimmy, he takes them out here. This horse finished uh, fifth the other day behind Trebler, getting close to a win. Stepping up to the mile, I think, will suit. And I've got it on top here to beat number four, Taciturn. Uh, our last start winner here on the 17th of June has a very good record over the 1,600 metres. Gary Clark and Jared Todd, a potent combination, as we know. And in for third, number six, Rocheville. Uh, I'll give him another chance. He won two starts ago. He's a little disappointing last time up, but the miles should suit him better for Ray Viger and Tayan Halter. Three, four and six in the first. The second is the Allura Gardens Nursery Maiden. It's over the 1,200 metres. Numbers here are 2, 8 and 11. Going here with number two, Happy Beebe from the uh, stable of Cherie Lawler and Terry Trishell aboard. The horse has had just the two starts in Darwin and has finished uh, behind the place getters uh, in races won by Autocratic and Escondido. Well, that's pretty good form for mine. Those horses will be the favourites uh, in the guineas later in the day. And I think Happy Beebe with that form behind... Uh, uh, him will be very hard to beat. Two on top. Ahead of number eight, Tradici. Just keeps knocking on the doors. Had the 19 starts now. Two seconds, three thirds. And a good third last time behind Total Faith. I think the trip uh, uh, suits uh, on uh, Saturday. It was 1,100 the other day. 1,200 uh, this time. Jared Todd aboard. And in for third uh, is number 11. It's over the page. And a stroke of magic from the Phil Cole stable. Paul Shire's aboard. Good run the other day, I thought, behind Total Faith and another who's knocking on the door. Numbers in the second, 2, 8 and 11. The third's the Tox Free Handicap. It's the uh, average benchmark event and it's over 1,200 metres. My numbers here, 6, 2 and 1. Going here with number 6, Kronos. He's got a great record, this horse, fresh up, and that's what he is uh, on Saturday. Now in the stable of Phil Cole, of course, previously trained by Stephen Brown. Uh, he's had uh, seven starts uh, fresh up for three wins. He's, uh, he's had uh, six starts um, fresh, rather, for two wins, two seconds, a third and a fourth. But that's actually his Darwin record. So his Darwin record, two wins, two seconds, a third and a fourth, and he's won three times fresh. That's what I'm trying to say. Hasn't raced since the 20th of December. I understand he's flying in track work. Wayne Davis aboard for Phil Cole. I've got him on top here. Ahead of number two, Harmonian Bells for Gary Clark and Kim Gladwin. Good second here at his last start behind high cost. And uh, she's a mare who uh, is always uh, a must-include a race such as this and in for third number one Prince Planet he was good winning here last week over the 1600 metres Calvin Hickmott dropping him back and trip uh, to the 1200 on Saturday but he's a kind of horse uh, that looks like he's pretty adaptable Terry Trishell aboard 6-2-1 and one in the third the fourth is the Silks Darwin Handicap. It's the open sprint on the day. A small field, but a very select one. And, of course, it's over the 1,100 metres. Numbers here, 5, 3 and 1. Going here with number 5, Clever Tommy, trained by uh, Normie Bracken and Terry Trishell in the saddle. He's run here uh, on the 23rd of May. Was excellent behind high cost. Of course, this horse finished third in the Palmerston last year. He's a very smart horse on his day. And in the small field, uh, with the minimum weight of 55 kilograms, I think he gets his chance. Five on top. To beat number three, Eastwood. Rocketed home the other day behind Captain Punch to finish fourth. Uh, Ray Viger aboard for Tayan Halter. And in for third, number one, the captain, carrying the 61 kilograms, but he's run behind his stablemate, Captain Punch, uh, at his last start. was superb. Uh, Gary Clark, of course, trains. Five, three and one in the fourth. The fifth is the Hot 100 Handicap. It's a 0 to 62, and this one over 1,100 metres. Numbers here, 5, 8 and 3. 
Number five, Frilly Design from the Gary Clark uh, barn. Jared Todd aboard. Really good run uh, last time out for second behind stablemate Belmont Day. Of course, Belmont Day's come out and won again since. Gary hasn't rushed uh, Frilly Design. It's a month between runs. And I think uh, with that break uh, between uh, uh, gallops, I think uh, she'll be very hard to beat here. Five, Frilly Design. To beat number eight, Turak Road. Good uh, second last time out uh, behind Hustlin Humph. That was just last week. Uh, to be ridden again by Barry Huppets and, of course, trained by Chris Pollard. And then for third, number three, Tornado of Souls, a last start winner from the Peter Stennett uh, stable. Ray Viger aboard. He was scratched last week, this horse, but um, goes round on Saturday, hopefully, and should race well again. Five, eight and three in race five. The sixth, the uh, 92.3 FM Top Country Handicap. It's a bit of a mouthful. It's the 0 to 70 over the 1100 metres. My number's here, 5, 6 and 1. Number 5, Rock Atomic for me. Paul Shires for Gary Lafoe. Really good fresh up uh, run here the other day and that of course was behind Captain Punch. He finished third. Uh, he's uh, up and weight today, but uh, or on Saturday rather, up and weight, down in class. No Captain Punches or the Captains in this and I think he'll be winning number 5, Rock Atomic. To beat number six, uh, the fresh runner, another bit from the Gary Clark team, Kim Gladwin aboard. He was a star of last year's carnival in the lower grades. He's very quick. He's had a trial, and I think he'll race very, very well. And in for third, number one, the stable mate of another bit, Divine Red, Jared Todd for Gary Clark. A fresh runner, hasn't raced since Alice Springs on the 18th of April. Numbers there, five, six and one in race six. So we get towards the business end of the day, the first of three 1,300 metre races to bring us home. It's the Campaign Edge Sprout Handicap, the first division of the 0 to 58 over the 1,300 metre trip. My numbers here, 1, 3 and 2. I'm going here at the top of the page with number one choice approach, uh, trained by Tommy Harrower, Ray Viger in the saddle. Really good run uh, last time out. That was a fresh up run, hadn't raced for about six months, but um, finished off very, very strongly behind a smart horse in the Trooper. This trip suits, um, stepping up uh, from the 1200 to the 1300, and I've got choice approach on top to break through for a well-deserved win. Uh, ahead of number three, Mr Boom Jangles from the uh, Gary Lafoe stable. Paul Shires aboard. Fifth the other day behind the Trooper, so really going around that uh, the Trooper form. He's second up uh, on Saturday, and I think he will be improved by that first up run. And in for third, number two, Bonnier. Once again, came out of that uh, the Trooper race here on the 17th of June. Wayne Davis for Phil Cole. Uh, he was fourth last time out, and a winner two starts back. One, three, and two in race seven. We get to the feature, the $50,000 tab, Darwin Guineas, a time-honoured event. Of course, this year, the only difference is it's 1,300 metres, not uh, the traditional 1,600 due to the uh, issues with COVID. Uh, but a good field is, uh, has been assembled here, the 11 runners down to uh, contest the 1,300 metre event. My number's here, 5, 1, 8 and 7. I'm going here with number 5, Escondido. He's done nothing wrong in three starts in the top end for Gary Clark. Kim Gladwin uh, retains the mount here. Uh, he's um, stepped up from a maiden to the class two to the three-year-old class six the other day. He's been very impressive on all occasions. I think the trip will suit him, and I've got him on top here to beat his stable mate number one, Autocratic, another horse who uh, has got a real future here, Jared Todd for Clarkey. It was a good winner last time out. That was in the class five over 1,200 metres for the three-year-olds on the 6th of June. Sure, he'll race well again. In the third, number eight, Shift the Risk. He's done nothing wrong, uh, this three-year-old trained by Tayan Halter. Ray Viger retains the mount. Incidentally, it's his first start in Darwin. He's had 11 runs, um, uh, half a dozen of them, I think, in Alice Springs. But his first run in Darwin, he's won his last three, including the Alice Guineas, uh, there in the red centre on the 18th of April. So he must be in the mix. And in for fourth, the third of the Clark Trio, number seven, Military Road, Paul Shires aboard. Five, one, eight and seven in what should be a great renewal of the Tab Darwin Guineas. We go to the last, it's the Darwin Racing Handicap, the second division of the 58-1300. My numbers here are one, six and four. Could be a big day for Gary Clark as uh, it invariably is on these uh, carnival days. Number one, Count of Essex for me, Paul Shires aboard. Never goes a bad race. It's run uh, four seconds and a third. His last five starts. Looked at the winner last time out uh, only to uh, find one better in his stable mate, the Auditor. But uh, over this trip of 1,300 metres, dropping back uh, from the 1,600, I think might just suit Count of Essex. And I've got him on top here to beat number six, Perpetuity. Had the two runs in Darwin for Chris Pollard. Barry Huppert's aboard. He's raced well on both occasions. And in for third, number four, no alibis. He's just finding it difficult to win a race. But um, Jared Todd and Gary Clark combination needs no introduction. One, six and four. In the last... 
The best bet of the day comes up in race five, and I'm going here with number five, Frilly Design. Race five, number five, Frilly Design. No Belmont days in this to contend with, and uh, she should be improved by that first up run. Well, the best ruffian is uh, in race eight. In the guineas, I'm going here with number nine, Testino. Really good run the other day for uh, second placing, uh, and uh, one of four in the event trained by Tayan Halter uh, could give us sight. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk, but we'll be back in advance of day two of the carnival. Of course, it's Asian United Food Service Chief Minister's Cup Day, and that'll be on the 11th of July. Nelson Lay and the team from Asian United Food Service are great supporters of Top End Racing, and the feature next week promises, as always, uh, to be a great contest, one of the major lead-ups, as we know, to the Great Northern Darwin Cup on the first Monday in August. But until then, good luck and good punning.